My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be fixing this Bobcat T650 skid steer. We've got these hydraulic couplings that uh, frequently go bad. Just talking to my dealer, and he says the female goes bad more often than not. And he uh, sells quite a few of these a week. He said at least two a week. And he just sold another one this morning. So it's a pretty common problem. So we're going to go ahead and fix this and show you how it's done. So here we've got the auxiliary hydraulic couplers and you can see we've had a leak here for uh, some time now and it's collecting a bunch of dirt and debris. We've got a replacement here. This was about $110, so not cheap. He said the mail was about $90 with tax, probably $95 or close to $100. I think this was $110, $115 with tax. We're going to go ahead and take this guy off. I tried using a crescent wrench, but it uh, would not fit, so we'll use these channel locks. And I guess these things just get a bunch of dirt debris inside of them and causes a bunch of issues. So um, I asked if there's any caps covers you could be used. I haven't found anything. I also asked about a rebuild kit, and he said he wasn't uh, aware of that being a common repair. And he actually said he looked up one, and it was uh, only $10 cheaper than buying the whole replacement. But he said these are pretty common to get broken off. He said sometimes the whole thing will bust off, and you have to replace the whole unit. This whole unit's about four or 500 bucks, and that whole unit does come with a replacement, one of these. But uh, I kind of joked them, said it sounds like these are more of a consumable, and they are, uh, you know, apart if they go bad that often. Okay, let's crank her down. Okay. Let's go get a rag and clean this up. Just uh, will in our deck here. So, uh, might as well do some trailer maintenance here while we're at it. So, yeah, I guess something got in there. This is a little bit of an indent right now, so that little indent's pushing just enough to have it leak out the front there while it's running. Some bad seals inside or something. These seals still look brand new and good. It's sad that you have to throw this away. I mean, what else are you to do with it? it? Sounds like it's not economical to rebuild it. Okay, we're all pretty and shined up, looking good, cleaned off the other fitting, should be good to go. Well that's a wrap on this quick repair video. If you're interested in any more content, we've got reviews on this Diamond C equipment trailer. We've got content with the skid steer, the Bobcat mini excavator, Bobcat E35, and uh, we're headed out to our landscape job. So if you're interested in those, uh, be sure and check out those videos as well. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.